Hello viewers, uh, welcome to Optimus Gaming Channel. This is part two of Horizon Zero Dawn. The previous part में काफी अच्छा response आया. This is a video like here, uh, like to thank all of you. So ये uh, है part two. The previous part में जहाँ से हमने uh, इस gameplay को leave किया था वहीं से start करेंगे. तो in this part we are going on uh, Mother's Heart to प्रूविंग में हिस्सा लेने के लिए सो लेट्स स्टार्ट के वी आर इन साइड मदर्स हार्ट द फर्स्ट हमारे पास जो ऑब्जेक्ट है टॉप टू योर ओल्ड फ्रेंड रिसर्च के काम पर हमारा ओल्ड फ्रेंड एलोय इट्स यू इज न इट Over here. Yeah, I it is him. Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly. Oh, I also remember you. Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years I hope to see you again. If you came to run in the proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. So he just created a armor for us. Those armor, armor for them. Yeah. ये नहीं ले पा रहे हैं तो Nora protect. तो Nora protect the light. Try it on whenever you feel like it. Thank you, Tap. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the matriarch's lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe. Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. I mean, I like. But do I like him? Yeah. Go to missionaries meet. तो दो स्केल में छोटे स्पोर्ट क्या था आई डोंट नो वाई लगता है कुछ बग है स्केल में तो हो सकता है सो दे सेलिब्रेटिंग समथिंग Nice. 
from there. Bad enough you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Listen carefully oh, now. Not supposed to go yeah, climbing on other people's way. roofs, huh? You're taller than I remember. Get I down remember. from there now. Oh, listen, that's just what you want, isn't now. it? For me to fall on my head. You'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all life came from all mother. People, machines, and beasts, all were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. But some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the faithless. The machines nice. had whispered to them, promised oh, to serve them, to make them a new world, better than the one all mother provided. Goddess bless you. Aloy, over here. Come on over. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. Always happy to take your shards. In a moment, we shall bless the Proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Earth. and Slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold effect. your fruit, nor, uh, uh, nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now I'm Azuran, not Karchi. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Yeah. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. Mm. Who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology, straight from the lips of the 14th King. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude, written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> And we are playing on Ultra. Pain Edition. Unknown device detected. No, the car just stand with you. He's wearing a focus, just like mine. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait! No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> Hey, you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half 
drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids, and who can blame them? I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring-locked, impact-protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life-takers and machine-breakers to a one. It might even give them Nora Warmaid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... <laughs> It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. it will be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! <laughs> Captured, yes. Killed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? The goddess to judge the Karja, not me. The past should be left in the past. How am I supposed to enjoy myself with those bloodthirsty Karja faithless hanging about, profaning the land? Are we supposed to forget what the Karja did? We'll start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy. Sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light it's flame. Let's see, Kia Dua Mona Ji, we will pray about a lost mother. Whose name I would know if she hadn't abandoned me at birth. All mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. Hunter's I have questions for him. Or is he that big optional Magic. objective they have talk to Olin? Because of the Pele Olin say bad cut. Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? 
Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Eren needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's got to make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain, or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl. I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> of course, boss is gonna win. Just look at him. I'm preoccupied. My brother is ill. तो ये हो गया अब हम चलते हैं हंटर स्लेज फाइंड यू बेड आउट कैस्ट एंड ड्रीम ऑफ विनिंग द प्रूविंग दैट्स द क्लोजेस्ट यू गोन गेट This is the bed house. With you standing guard, I figured it was the latrine. You're you're very pregnant here. <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Where's your bite, outcast? Ah, oh, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's going to be with you, is it? This is how it's going to be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. Too bad for you that I'm going to win it then. <laughs> I've trained all my life for this. If I lost to you, I'd make myself an outcast for life. Don't overestimate yourself. You wouldn't last long in the wilds. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah. The look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? 
I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So? Your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It has... certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll okay, find a place so here. Okay, so is do. Uh, Get uh, some rest. तो नेक्स्ट वीडियो में मिलेंगे अगर आपको वीडियो पसंद आते हैं तो अपने दोस्तों के साथ शेयर करें इसे लाइक करें एंड चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करते हैं थैंक यू सो मच पीस आउट